Hey everyone, JSD Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Coolcraft. Now, it's been a while since uh, anything has gotten up on this YouTube channel because Christmas, alright? That's just my reason, alright? <laughs> Probably have videos that I have pre recorded and could have uploaded, but I was lazy, family, and also. I have so I, I got some games on Steam and some new games on Steam, so I was playing those for a while. I might do a video on those, but today we are back with the skyscraper, ready to build ever taller. And I think we've sloped in for the final time here. And now the last episode I only built that because I felt that it was. Oh, sorry, my phone. That it was like taking way too many resources, but luckily in, the, in between episodes, the Golden Creeper came out, restocked his gla glass shop, and I kind of, um, yeah, um, bought it out. <laughs> As uh, you you can see here, he had only three shulker boxes actually, but I did it all blue, and yeah. So um, I'm gonna come straight in with a time lapse of me building more of this. All right. Oh, and also, I feel like it's worth mentioning this. This is how uh, I've started to try and map the world. See where I've gotten to? Um, this here is the world spawn cur currently. And this here is us. Like, we're right here. Like, that. Not even. We're not even on the map that I, now that I think about it. But there's a lot of map between here and spawn. I might actually um, shrink these maps a little bit, but yeah. Wall of maps, that's happening. <laughs> Alright guys, so, in this time lapse, I am going to be talking about Christmas, as it just passed and I'm really late on getting this video, so I'm going to talk about Christmas presents that I have received in this year. So, the first and most o obvious one that I can feel right now is I got a brand new amazing computer chair, and yeah, it's a gaming chair, and it's way more comfortable than the piece of trash that I used to sit on that um, the, the seat's not even connected to anymore. Um, the back was completely destroyed on that old thing. That's one of the few things that I've got for Christmas. Uh, I also got a... Hold up. I also got a... A DVI to VGA dongle. So I can now hook up this old... The old 16-year-old monitor that is currently sitting next to me here. Um... Yeah, 16 years old. Yeah, the 16-year-old CRT that's sitting next to me. Um... It's been in my basement for 16 years. Um... I think maybe a little less than 16 years. I don't know. My dad bought that shortly after my brother was born, so... I know how old that thing is. Um, that's been sitting in my basement. I can now hook it up to my gaming computer so it can act as a second screen up for OBS or whatever else I need over there. It's really handy. Um, other things that I got. I got this tin of Skittles. I don't know. I ate them all already. So. <laughs> I mean, there's that. I got a new key. Uh, JD Cool gave me a new key. Got me a new keyboard for the server computer so I don't have to um copy the space copy space anymore. I can actually instead I can actually just like. Use the space bar. Um, what else did I get? Um, I know this isn't. This totally isn't related to actual Christmas at all. It's actually more related to my birthday. But my aunt took us to Dave and Buster's uh, over the Christmas break, and uh, one of the things I got for prizes was this really nice soft blanket. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. Another thing that um I've gotten for Christmas is these new RGB fans to put in the front of my computer because my computer has these old RGB fans which are currently blowing on the server computer I still have the loud fan on there because I actually did a good job at cooling the CPU surprisingly um but um yeah because those need a special cool master RGB controller to work and we didn't have it my dad got, my, got me some new fans that came with their own special RGB controller in fact they came with some weird six fin pet Six fin, six pin fan connector that connect that co takes all RGB and fan speed into account, which is controlled if I can find it. Oh, I can't. Um, with a handy dandy remote control. Um, which is nice. So I now have some cool RGB fans on the front of my build. Snazzy. Oh, oh, I'm not sure if you noticed this time lapse is also two part because I had to leave in the middle of recording it. Um, that's all I can actually think of off the top of my head here, slash C in my kind of line of sight here. Um, but actually something else that I've got, that I got with a gift card that I'd gotten for Christmas is a new mouse pad to be used with our cruddy laptop over there. 
because I used to be using the mouse on one of these wooden stools that we have in the basement. Track I'll give you a hint. Traction of those is not great, so a mouse pad helps out, although wireless interference from my leg is also a pretty big problem. But um also but so yeah, that's my Christmas. Tell me yours in the comment and I'll get you right back into it right now. Alright guys, so the tower has officially had its height maxed out. Well, pretty much. So this is the last story that I'm going that I'm going to be adding to. All that's left to do now is the roof, whatever comes on top of it, and then all the sign terracotta, which I might do later on in this episode if I feel like it. But um, yeah. So that's what it is. And the reason why we're I'm not going to build this any higher is because we are at Y 242. I'm pretty sure that I could not fit another complete level in before we reach build height, which, um, actually, I could go quickly bring up the calculator now, so we were at 242 plus we got, so let's add two to uh, the height of what I'm standing on right now would be there, so that's that, and we're at 12 for the windows, did I just, okay, with the 244, Okay, then we add 12. Oh, just at the top of the windows without any stuff on top of it, we are exactly at build height. So, therefore, this has to be the final level. So, I could, you know, if I did want it to be hot, higher, I could just go and artificially alter build height in the server files, because that is a thing I can do, because we are on a server here, but... Nah... I mean, I might do that just to make it so I can have, like, a really tall antenna or something on top of this, but besides that, this is pretty much the, the highest this thing is going to get. And yeah, um, let's see what uh, we're doing next. Alright, guys, so I have been doing a bit of off-camera work and have just spotted this block here that I missed. And, um, yeah, as you can see, yes, I got it, I think, I, I'm unsure whether I got that, yes, I did, alright, uh, as you can see, yes, yeah, so this thing is, yeah, tall, and it has all the cyan terracotta on the other, so yeah, this is what the building is gonna look like when it's finished, I forgot everything, but. Um, but yeah, we went through a lot of cyan terracotta. Like, I had to get two extra shulker boxes from my base of this stuff to finish it. Um, that's all the maps. Um, um, luckily though, we didn't, we only went through about four and a little bit shulker boxes of light blue stained glass, which we can just do that right now so that we're safe here during the night time. Um, probably not safe from phantoms though, so I have to be wary of those. But yeah. I'm actually gonna go sleep now, but there is, um, so yeah, I've done that, but there is one thing that I am yet to do, which is put the thing on the, the giant sign on the front of the building, which signifies and make sure everybody knows that this is the Cool Bros Incorporated headquarters, in case you forgot. So now, um, JRD Cool is gonna have to come over here and actually, um, build the, the interior of this, because he said he would. Uh, stupid skeleton right here. Oops, that's my bow. <laughs> and while it's sealed like this, the only way in and out via the roof. <laughs> now, I brought a whole bunch of light blue concrete with me. It's not really actually that much, so it's probably not going to be enough. I uh, didn't bring... Uh, dang it. Uh, okay, so I didn't bring anything else with me, which is probably a mistake. I mean, luckily we actually have like a ton of concrete left, so that shouldn't be a problem for JRD Cool when he's building his floor. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell him to try to make the floors out of primarily concrete because we have tons of that left over. And I estimated 20 shulker boxes, I was so far over. Um, pink. I think I'm gonna go down another layer so that's like yeah, actually like a reasonable height. And so I'm going to kind of build out a couple blocks here, and it's just gonna be let's see. 
Yeah, this is gonna be a little bit slow, guys. So I'm gonna cut until I hopefully have this sign done. All right, guys. There's the sign. CBI. Probably could have been shifted over about a block from the C, but. Yeah, I, I don't really care that much right now. I had to go get get a whole bunch of extra light blue concrete because dang, this sign takes a lot. But. A giant CBI is now on the building. Yeah, I think I might shift it around off camera or something like that. But, um, that is gonna be all we're actually doing in this building today in this episode. Not the end of the episode yet. I don't think it's been that long yet. But. Oh my gosh, yesterday we were supposed to be doing the gift opening thing on the server. But we haven't. But, but we didn't because. The Golden Creeper called me when I was at lunch in the middle of a restaurant and my and the rest of my family was watching a football game at that restaurant, so it was just like, we had to wait till the end, and then by the time that we got home, uh, the Golden Creeper wasn't responding, and death. <laughs> so, I still have uh, the ability to add a last minute Christmas gift to, or a couple, to the pile there. Now, I already have the ones that you've seen me put in the episode, so one for the Golden Creeper, one for JRD. But, I'm gonna put another one for about each of them, um, so I'm gonna give the Golden Creeper probably some more fireworks. And JRD is gonna get a, a kind of, uh, it's gonna be mainly just a book for this one, but they're also gonna get more shulker boxes, because shulker boxes is what I have, and... Yeah. I gotta pick out colors, though, to wrap these prisons in, because... I honestly don't know. I have some guys, but I'll get back once I'm recording. Oh, I may have forgotten to record this, but um, I came over here and added these two presents here, which is, um, well, I talked about what they were earlier, but yeah. And I was looking, and Jared e. Cool's presents don't have signs on them to tell you who they're for or whatever, so... There's a problem there, but hopefully later in this episode, or at the end of this episode, um, we have that happening. Because I don't know when we're actually going to do that, but hopefully it's going to be in this episode. Yeah. Actually guys, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the Discord link in the description, and I will see you all in the next episode of Cool Craft. Bye.